welcome back to the channel this is Aza Speaks Studio okay so I'm gonna be fast on this one while we're touching this image and you can see how bad the image look it's a very nice shot but the image is looking so bad I can prove this to you by bringing up the exposure or the brightness so let's bring up the brightness grab the brightness tool and bring it up okay so you can see the way the skin is although it's a low resolution image and that is why we're having it like this but let's make this image look at least a little bit better than the way it is right now okay so now the first thing i'm going to do is to expose and make the exposure better i'm going to grab the solid color same method same method same method grab the solid color and why i use the solid color is because i can mess around with the uh, brightness the saturation and any other the you okay so uh i'm just gonna click on the eyes which is supposed to be white we all know it's supposed to be white let's take it up so it won't be blown out so let's just leave it there first change the panel mode to divide and now you can see let me zoom in you can see how the image even the skin looks like okay so now let's go now next thing is to double click and bring it up a bit till this looks you know brighter than before and let's see it's okay and bring it down so we can have before and then after so this should look better this should look better okay so the next thing we're going to do since the image looks better like this i'm going to bring up the UN saturation and clip it under and i can bring back the saturation or bring back let's let's get the real color i think we need some yellow in it and then we could increase it a little bit more like this i think i love it like this so we have it before and then after i'm going to group these two together group 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 these two together and let's see for um color variation i'm going to grab another unit saturation pick on the and two and this time around let's pick the cheek and bring it up so we have just little green and blue so let's focus on the green on our skin I'm going to increase the slider till we have that greener part, which is this side. And then make it zero back. And so we need to pick, take it back so it looks you know, red. Or better still, you can use the desaturation and you're going to desaturate those places. But I don't want to lose this the color. I just want to blend the, uh, have the brown melanin type of skin. So we have our before, which is the yellow, and now it's looking like the brownish okay so now i'm going to create a stand visible layer and then quickly do my frequency separation all right so we're done with that i'm going to create a stand visible layer grab the curve increase the brightness so much then double click to open it up i'm going to remove it from the darker side like this it's just a quick way of doing uh, my dodging and burning so something like that and i'm gonna break it up using art and i push this backwards a little and take this forward okay so this should do it's okay so it's there let me zoom in you can see it before and then after give bringing up okay so now let's grab the exposure again on top of that i'm gonna bring it backwards and we're going to have this just 1.11 or 1.10 should do now i'm going to add my um photo filter which is the brown one and that's too much that's going to decrease it to 23 let's see so it's there and one more thing color lookup table and I'm going to go to the load 3D and I'm going to load the melanin, which is this mine melanin. And boom, we have this rich chocolate color flavor. You can decrease your opacity to 50. And also, you can still brighten up things. So let's go ahead and, you know, uh, increase, grab the, let's say, let's use the brightness. So let's take up the brightness a bit and bring it up. So something like that. I'll create this time visible layer control shift other E. And this is why I'm just gonna hand everything instead of going to camera raw filter and then making things 
Okay, so let's quickly see. It's just a will brush up a very fast editing. So we have this to this. So thank you guys for watching. If you find the video helpful, let me know in the comment section. If you're new, kindly subscribe.